A violent weekend across Sacramento and Stockton. Four people have been killed with more injured after separate shootings. One of the victims killed was just 12 years old. The shooting happened just after 6 this evening on 22nd Avenue. ABC 10's Garj Paul Sangha is live there now. And Garj Paul, what are you learning? Yeah, Luke, the details of exactly what happened here are slowly trickling in, but officers are trying to piece together the evidence. And we're on the southern end of the 22nd Street as police are continuing to uh, conduct this investigation. And we're near by John H. Still Elementary School. Now, Sacramento police officers came to this Meadowview neighborhood in South Sacramento this evening. Officers say they found a 12 year old boy with one gunshot wound. They try to save his life, but that boy died on scene. Now, the information of exactly what led up to the shooting has not been released yet. And also, we don't know if the shooting happened at a house or outside of a house. Police are still conducting that portion of the investigation. There's no amount of words that we can provide um, in that circumstance. Now, our job is to try to find you know, justice for these families and find the people that are responsible for uh, specifically, especially um, you know, these, these homicides, but really all crimes in general. And so far, this for this incident, no suspect information has been released. Police are continuing to conduct interviews, and they're looking for anything that can help solve this unfortunate scene where a child lost his life. If you know anything, you're asked to call Sacramento Police Department. But if you want to stay anonymous, Sacramento Police Department is asking people to get in touch with Crime Stoppers. So it's been more than five hours as they continue to conduct this investigation. But this is in a residential area, isn't impacting too much traffic. But there's still a lot of information that police are still working through that they have not released. Reporting live in Sacramento, Garge Paul Sunga, ABC 10. Garge Paul, thank you. Incredibly sad, a 12-year-old boy killed in this shooting and not the only deadly shooting in our area tonight. In Stockton, a woman was killed and two others were hurt in a domestic violence incident that ended in an exchange of gunfire between a man and Stockton police. Now, this happened when Stockton police responded to a domestic violence call on Blue Ridge Circle. Officers found a 30-year-old woman with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound, and when officers approached the apartment, a 39-year-old man shot at the police, and they returned fire. No officers were hit. The man then barricaded himself inside the home with multiple children. After negotiating, the suspect surrendered peacefully and police found two children who were not hurt and the minor with a gunshot wound who was taken to the hospital, as well as the woman with the gunshot wound who was pronounced dead at the scene. That investigation is ongoing tonight. And a woman was shot and killed just hours ago in South Sacramento. Police said that it happened on Occidental Drive. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene and police said that they detained one man at this time. We're still trying to ascertain information and figure out what their involvement, if any, is in this incident. Um, it's still a very active investigation. I don't have a lot of information to release at this time. And police say that there is no active threat to the public here as that shooting was contained to the home. Police are also investigating a gang-related shooting on Fulton Avenue. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office said that this happened on at the Valero on Fulton Avenue and Northrop Avenue. They said that a man was shot and taken to the hospital. The victim has been transported, was shot multiple times, including at least one time in the face, uh, several times in the torso and maybe in the back as well. Uh, was initially actually walking and talking before they were transported, has since uh, been in the hospital and is now in critical condition. At this time, there's no information about a suspect. The investigation is ongoing. Anyone with information can call the sheriff's office. A minor is in the hospital tonight with life-threatening injuries after a shooting in Stockton. Police said that this happened near Carolyn Weston Boulevard and Manthe Road. The minor was described as a male. That, that incident is under investigation as well, and right now we have no information about a suspect. And a shooting overnight in downtown Sacramento killed one person. Police said that this happened just before 1 a.m. at the intersection of 24th and J Street. It's not clear what led up to the shooting, but they say that two people were shot. One of the men died, while the other one, police say, is expected to survive. Anyone with information can contact Sacramento Police.